What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video on the channel. Welcome to some need for speed unbound and in today's video I want to go ahead and do a drift build. Now I have made a drift build video in the past on the RX-7 and I feel like I've done a pretty poor job at driving it and building it for drifting in this game because it's not very intuitive the way they want you to build the cars in this game. It's just weird, right? Because the upgrades that you think are going to be upgrades that will help you towards drifting, they're just not. They make it worse. So, in today's video, I want to try to see if I can find a perfect balance to create the best drift car that I could possibly make. And I'm going to pick something kind of interesting to buy and build. Um, but I don't really know exactly what to go with. I mean, you guys probably know already because of the title and the thumbnail of this video. Maybe could go with a nice BRZ, try build this thing up from pretty much stock and the way it is and and see what sort of customization options there are for it, of course, but also, like I said, build this thing into something that should be a very, very good car. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can build the perfect drift car. So, let's buy this BRZ. I think I think it's a good idea to buy this thing. Alright, let's use it and see what's, what's available for it. Not only can we actually engine swap this thing. Okay. That's sick. That's the engine that we have in it now. We can put that in it. Or that. Uh, 2.3 inline 4. What engine is this from? I'm trying to remember and I can't. So the engine that we have in it now goes up to 412 thereabouts in power. Um, do I go with the V6? I kind of want to. What's this, the 350 V6? The VQ. I'm kind of down to put it on. I don't know what engines this is from, but I kind of I want the V6. I feel like it'll be kind of sick if I put the V6 in it. Right, let's just buy it. V6, swap this thing. Um, and I'm going to start building and adding parts to this thing. I'll, of course, then change to the uh, the actual visual upgrades. I'm going to change that as well. But let's, let's do this really quick, right? So I'm going to add the most amount of power that I can. Right, the best best power that I can I can give this thing, I'll I'll give it. Um even just a turbocharger right now. It's at 728 horsepower. So it's already got a stupid amount more power than what we actually need. Suspension, I'm gonna bring this thing and just give it uh just regular suspension, right? Elite suspension, but regular suspension. Uh, I'm definitely gonna give this thing some better brakes. Uh tires, I'm not going to upgrade. The tires I'm gonna keep completely stock. And I think this is the one thing that I ended up doing the last time, and I ended up giving it, like, drift tires, but they were, like, elite or super or whatever. And they just, they, I don't know, they just didn't feel well. And gears as well. I'm not going to upgrade my gears. I'm going to keep them the way they are. Because I feel like it'll stay in, or maybe even go with a 5-speed on this thing. Because it won't actually adjust or change anything. I'm going to go with 5-speed, because I think the car that has way too many gears... It'll, like, start hitting limiter in, like, the wrong gear and stuff like that. It just, it'll, it'll be, like, just dumb. So I'm gonna keep that like that. And I'll adjust this once we finish. Um, but that is, I think, the best setup that we can possibly have for drifting, in my opinion. I think, right? Well, like I said, we'll adjust stuff later on. Anyway, let's have a look at some body kits that are available for this thing. Um, okay, this is nice and, nice and simple. Not, nothing too crazy there. Obviously, I have the rocket bunny kit, which doesn't look too bad. I think this is like the V1, V2 or whatever. We have this one, which... <laughs> it looks like it has a Lexus front end on it. That is so chokes. Absolutely the most disgusting exhaust I've ever seen in my entire life. And then this kit actually doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah, the Varus kit on this looks very clean. Oh, man. Should I put the Lexus front end kit on this thing? Or not? Oh, man. That's... <laughs> I feel like we'll have a lot more options anyway for, for kits, or sorry, for like different parts. I kind of want to put, I really want to put this virus kit on it. It really doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah, I'm putting it on. Okay, and then I will start adjusting stuff and changing stuff. So front end, again, we have two different versions of the virus kit. Um, which kind of makes it look a lot closer to the stock. And again, like I said, we have a bunch of different other options that we have available for uh, the front end of this thing. Rocket Bunny. Yeah, that Lexus front end is just so jokes to me. Okay. I kind of don't want to have that big-ass splitter on the front of it, so I'm kind of tempted to just go with this. This one looks a little bit cleaner and a little bit nicer. 
I don't mind it being wide bodied. I think wide bodied looks good. I just don't want a massive splitter on it. I just don't think it looks that great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change from fenders. Again, these can adjust um, how wide it actually is as well. Yeah, Rocket Bunny just isn't there. I feel like we've done Rocket Bunny kits on this car so many times before. I'll just go with the, the virus kit that we have available for this. For the hood, again, we have a bunch of different ones. Stock, carbon. Okay, we have that one. I actually don't really mind uh, this one, I think. I kind of want to put on. It looks very early 2000s Need for Speed vibe or whatever. You know, Fast and Furious type vibes. It looks very, very similar to st <laughs> something like that. So I kind of want to put it on. Uh, headlights, we can just tint these, so I don't, don't really want to change those. Front fenders, we check those out. We can't actually change any canards or anything like that. It's fine. Side skirts. I'm going to go with this view because I think it's a little bit uh, a little bit better. Uh, side skirts, we have this. Again, I kind of want to go with, with something that will kind of match the front. Maybe this. Or this virus kit one. I actually don't mind the other virus kit by the looks of things. I think, I think that's the one that I prefer. So I'm going to do that. It still kind of molds in nicely with the the rest of the, the other version of the kit, but it actually doesn't even look too bad. Uh, here we only have a couple of options available. Yeah, I'm going to keep that the way it is. Uh, the taillights, I'm pretty sure we can change. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure the taillights we can change to these ones, the full LED ones, which I'm going to. Because they definitely look a lot better. Uh, I also do think that we're going to have a lot of different options for, for wings on this car. Rear bumper, I actually really like the one that we have on with this virus kit, but we'll just have a look at some of the rest of them. Let's see what they're like. We can fully remove the rear bumper, which I'm not going to. Rocket Bunny, Shidori. I mean, mostly it's just that rear valance that changes a lot, but I actually really like that one. Doesn't look bad at all. Can put a diffuser on the diffuser. I'm not going to do that, because that just looks stupid. Uh, trunklet we can change. Uh, is that because it's... Okay, one second. Let me get rid of the wing. And can I actually change the trunk lid now, or no? I guess not. Why are we not allowed to change the trunk lid? It looks so empty without the without a rear wing. Alright, so this is what what's available for it. That actually doesn't look too bad. Probably not for this car, but it doesn't look too bad with the... the sort of like lifted, like, lip. That's really nice. Uh, and then we go. We just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> and then the virus kit that we have. Which is this one here. Um, I might keep it on, to be honest with you. I feel like it suits the rest of the kit. Wait, did I... Wait, one sec. Let me put it back on again. Because I ended up getting rid of it. And I think now exhaust... I kind of like the virus exhaust. They're actually kind of kind of clean. Yeah, they're probably some of the better ones that we have available. I kind of like the Speedhunters one as well. Ooh, okay. So do I want these or these? I think the virus ones are staying on. They're kind of angled. Angle cut, I guess, if you want to call it like that. That looks a little better. Edit license plate. Uh, I do, however, want to change the background of this thing to something that doesn't have a background. Or at least that has uh, something like this on it. So I'm going to put that on. Uh, text. Change this to your mom. Really? I can't even put that in. There do that because this game is cringe i can't change anything i can't do anything fun roof oh we can put little spikes on the roof no i'm not doing that i don't want to do that okay wheels uh i guess i'll be right back let me oh wait wing mirrors maybe change these so we don't have those ones i kind of prefer the stock ones to be honest with you i'm putting them back on um windows as well yeah i'm gonna leave everything the way it is i'm gonna change the wheels I'll be right back. I'm going to try to see if I can find something interesting for the wheels. Alright, out of all the selection of wheels, I find these ones to be the, the most interesting ones. I mean, like, who puts HREs on an 8.6? <laughs> Seriously, who does that? <laughs> they, they definitely cost more than, like, half the car's price. If not almost the same car as the, as the, as the car. <laughs> I'm going to put these on. I actually quite like them. Uh, let's change the size and the color as well. I don't want to keep them in this white silverish color. I kind of want to paint them in, in a different color. Um, let me go to the material. And I'm kind of tempted to paint them all fully chrome. 
I feel like that could be kind of kind of nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go full chrome for both of those. Secondary color as well. Do that. And then of course a rim size, I'm gonna change it to obviously something bigger. Twenties? We'll see what twenties look like for the front and the rear. Wait, why why did that not change? Hello? <laughs> okay. Wait, what? From this angle, they're still white. From this angle, they're now chrome. Right, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's just add these on. Because I kind of like them. And I think I'm going to keep them the same front and rear. Um, wait, that's not it, is it? Does that actually not have chrome? So do that. Apply that. My thumb. One sec here. Okay. Material, chrome. Why is this... Why is it making it so awkward here? I want the preset to be this. And I want the material to be chrome. And I change these now into 20s. Are we good? Okay, we're good. It's <laughs> it just looks awkward from whatever angle you look at it. It just looks a little weird. Okay, that's much better. That is much, much better. I do, however, want to change the actual wheel. Um, sorry, not the wheel size. I, I want to change the actual tire for all these. Because I've been messing around with everything except for the tires. Um, I do want to go with a stretch tire. I think it would look kind of nice. Uh, do I want to put any text on them? I don't think so, so we'll just go with these ones here. I think they should be fine. Uh, I know I, the brakes haven't changed, and I kind of don't really care for the brakes, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to probably leave those the way they are. Some stretch tire. Some Toyo Proxies all around. Uh, our stance now it needs to change. Disappointingly, not low enough, in my opinion. I think it should be a lot lower. Camera on the front end, I'll add a little bit, and then on the rear, just the tiniest bit. And I think we're good with that. Uh, exhaust sound. Okay, I like that. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, paint and wrap now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead in the community and try to see if I can find some. I, is, are they gonna paint the wheels as well? I hope. Oh yeah, they are actually, aren't they? Ideally, I wouldn't have wanted them to paint the wheels. I think they might. Okay, th this one doesn't paint the wheels. But there are some extremely sick designs for all these. I could go with this. That actually doesn't look too bad at all. I'm not gonna lie to you. The old school TRD colors as well. Yeah, I'm putting these on. It looks sick. It looks really good. I like it. Alright, cool. Let's actually drive this thing. And again, I'll start adjusting. I, I also made it so we can drive around at night a little bit. Because I feel like every single time I've been doing videos on this game, it's all been during the day. And I haven't actually seen the cars during, it, during the night time or anything like that. It actually looks very, very good. Okay. Really long gears. Very weirdly handling right now. Let's see if I was right though with the gears. Okay. It's not actually too bad. It's not actually too bad. I'm going to bring this thing over towards grip a little bit more. Down first I'm going to get rid of and sting sensitivity I'm going to leave alone. So I'm going to keep adjusting these. To see if, if they change the way this thing slides. Uh, I should bring it over to an event, right? Let's have a look. We have this one that we can try to do. It has too many straight lines, though. I don't know why it's, why it's like that. Maybe this one? There has to be an event, right? That Or, like, one of these... Okay, this one we could try and do. This one's pretty much just, like, a figure eight. In our crosshairs. Okay.
Not the best sounding V6, I'll tell you that, but... Eh, I don't know. So yeah, the five speed is, is the thing I'm really trying to test out here. To see what it's like. Okay, it feels a little weird. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Pops and bangs are so good with this thing. Okay, it immediately goes into a slide. I need to see how to get this thing to handle nicer. Because right now I feel like every time I'm going into a slide, I, I, it's going to spin out. Yeah, it just spins out every single time. Interesting. Very interesting. So what if I bring this thing then all the way over to Drift? And I get rid of this so it's only brake tap. So you, just as soon as I tap the brake... It'll go into a slide. Okay, Jesus Christ. Now it just feels like it's on ice. <laughs> it's completely different. Okay, it is completely different now. Oh my god, okay. It's still very questionable handling, but... It is completely different. It's it's way too much now. Way too much. Bring this over towards the center a little bit more. Maybe towards that point. Okay, I think I may have found the best way to do this. This is what it looks like. I actually need to speed up a lot here. So I have to use a little bit of NOS. So this is what my drifting looks like now. Again, it's not the smoothest thing in the world, but I mean, it is... I absolutely missed that checkpoint. <laughs> and then I've slowed down a lot, but... This is what it looks like now. So this is this is the difference, right? This is the difference. This is what I've done differently. Um, the car is now in manual. So drive this thing in manual if you're doing that. This is the setup that I have here. Um, this little line, definitely don't have it all the way towards drift. Somewhere around the 50% mark is the best. Steering sensitivity, I brought it down quite a bit. Gas and brake tap to drift entry. I kept both of these on. Obviously no traction control uh, at all. And the downforce all the way to the left. But yeah, the most important thing that I've realized is drive it in manual. Drive it in manual. Because in automatic, it doesn't know what it wants to do. And then keep it in like a higher gear. Like the way I'm doing it right now in third. And watch that. Little tap of the brake. And you're sideways. Questionable. Questionable entry and all that, but... It is so much better than what it was like before. And again, it's just cars and stuff that get in your way, which is really, really annoying. And if you want to slow down a little bit more, tap the handbrake. Just tap the handbrake a tiniest bit. And there you go. Now it's actually sliding smoothly. Whereas, like I said before, it just... It looked like this thing was dying every time I was driving it, so... Definitely a lot easier. I mean, they definitely made it so overly complicated. When they could have literally just left it alone. Like, the drifting physics. They could have left them alone the way it was in the previous games. <laughs> they just drove so much better. Whereas in this game, it just doesn't feel good. But they're definitely a lot better than when I was driving the RX-7, if you guys have seen that video. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure some cars are going to be better than others. And maybe all-wheel drive cars are going to probably be better than... Oh, I completely missed that one. But I'm pretty sure some all-wheel drive cars are probably going to be a little bit better. Than rear-wheel drive cars. However, however, a lot of the all-wheel drive cars, once you start building them for drifting, they fully become rear-wheel drive. Like, you, they, they'll handle just like this thing that I'm driving right now. So, I don't know what that's going to be like. But yeah, uh, the the tires, keeping the tires completely stock, uh, is definitely just such a much better experience. 
Because I've had it before when we were driving the RX-7 and I ended up upgrading the tires to whatever it was. Oh my god, okay. I mounted a curb there so it threw me off completely. But I was playing around with the RX-7 and I remember when I was upgrading the tires and it just turned into an absolute pig. It was just so bad to drive. And then with this thing I left the tires stock now. Again, I've done the same thing with the RX-7, I changed them back to stock and it drove so much better. Again, driving physics are very questionable in this game, anyway, especially when it comes to, to drifting. But you can do some things to improve it or make it a little bit better. And uh, hopefully this video kind of helped a little bit if you're trying to build something for drifting. Dispatch, you can see... Right you can see what it's like now. Oh man. I don't know why they made it so so snappy once you start mounting the curbs. Like as soon as you start mounting the curbs with any of the cars in this game, it just makes the car lose it. See what I mean? Like it's just gone. It's it's really bad. But it's definitely more manageable than it was before. You can keep your slides nice and wide if you want to, or you can go in a little tighter. But mostly, as you can see, I'm keeping it in third. I'm not really changing it too, too much out of third gear. Being a higher gear than what you should be in, by the looks of things, is definitely the way to go. But yeah, they, they definitely did a, a very poor job with this game when it comes to the handling physics for drifting. And there's so many cars in the way. So many cars. Yeah, shut up. I really wish that there was an option, or sorry, a place where you could go where it's just like an open area. Uh, there's one place, but it's all in dirt and it just makes absolutely no sense to slide around there. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much our build. Well, yeah, this is our BRZ build. It actually looks very, very good. It's so weird that I put the TRD design on this thing and it's the Subaru. I keep forgetting that it's the Subaru that I picked and it's not the H6. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's actually quite nice. It's actually quite nice, especially after you've done all the changes that I've done to it. It, it, it honestly drives uh, much, much better than what I thought it was going to be. Definitely better than the RX-7, I'll tell you that. The RX-7 just didn't feel very good when I was driving that thing. Well, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever it is you guys want to do. Uh, but this was the BRZ as a drift build, and uh, yeah, hopefully you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.